President Goodluck Abile Jonathan is a very focused president who knew three and a half years ago, well ahead of time, that we're probably going to run into the problems of today crude oil prices and the fact that you also have devaluation of the Naira. He made that decision three and a half years ago that we should diversify the economy instead of relying just on oil. He put his all political will, his mind and his resources behind the agricultural sector. He understands very well that Nigeria has huge agricultural potential. That's why he launched the Agricultural Transformation Agenda. His goal was clear, but it was simple, and it had to be decisive, which is to make Nigeria to become a global powerhouse in agriculture, to produce for us 20 million metric tons of food by 2015, from 2011, and to make agriculture a business and a way of life. We ended 40 years of corruption in the fertilizer sector in this country. You know, Nigeria had the worst record on fertilizer corruption in Africa. It took this president, it took us only 90 days to end that corruption of 40 years. We developed under this president the electronic wallet system, which allows us to actually reach our farmers via mobile phones with electronic coupons for seeds and fertilizers. Under this president, farmers were not just fictitious people. Farmers are just not ghosts, they are real people. And therefore, we are reaching them with seeds and fertilizers. Before, farmers never got seeds and fertilizers. Less than 10% of all the fertilizers bought and sold by government ever got to farmers. It went to very rich people. But this president cares about farmers. He knows farmers, and therefore, we developed this program. Today, three and a half years on, we have reached over 14.5 million farmers, which improve seeds and fertilizers using their mobile phones. Today, we are close to 80% of self-sufficiency in local paddy rice. That's the one that comes from the farm. Production. When we started three years ago, farmers in this country were not growing improved varieties of rice. Within three years, we got long grain parboiled varieties that matches and beats any imported rice you find in the world. We began to give it to our farmers. We reached six million farmers within three years with these new varieties. They planted them on over two million additional hectares. We expanded rice production by an additional 7 million metric tons of rice. The number of rice mills that would process that rice into high quality import grade rice. When we started on that as president in this country, there was only one integrated rice mill. Today, we have well over 24 large integrated rice mills. Today, we are distributing to farmers all across this country 114 million seedlings of high yielding cocoa varieties that will mature in two and a half years instead of five. That will give you five times the yields the farmers are getting. Good luck, Abel Jonathan said as president, give it to all the farmers free of charge. And we are doing that free of charge. For all farmers from southeast to southwest and south south and part of the north central, we are distributing nine million sprouted nuts of high yielding palm oil seedlings. The president said, give it to farmers free of charge. A farmer put it to me the most succinct way. He said, under good luck, Ebele Jonathan, before good luck, Ebele Jonathan, he said, we were naked as farmers. Today, we good luck, Ebele Jonathan. We have our clothing back on ourselves. He said, we are not going backwards. We're going forward. And so he created a program called Youth Employment and Agriculture Program. We call it Nagropreneurs, to get young entrepreneurial Nigerians to go into agriculture as a business and also into agribusiness, part of the value chain. Well. That's going to unleash for Nigeria 750,000 young commercial farmers and agribusiness leaders. Just last week, I had the great pleasure of presenting to 27 of the young graduates, from doctors to architects to engineers to fashion designers that are moved into agriculture. It checks of anything between 2 million naira to 5 million naira, each grants free from this president to boost their businesses. One of them told me, this is the first time that I can feel government in my life. And that just tells you the nature of this president, that agriculture is totally different in Nigeria. Agriculture in Nigeria is on global stage. Agriculture in Nigeria now is the centerpiece of learning for others in Africa. It happened on that President Goodluck Ebelezer Jonathan's watch. Agriculture is working and Jonathan is working.